Welcome to Leading Ladies. My name is Helen Hen. And I'm Sienna Rubin, and we're your hosts. Today, we are welcoming Jody Stevens, who is a Broadway veteran and an amazing teacher. Hi. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, I realized I forgot my purse. With all this stress, I must confess, this could be worse than PNS. She is the founder of SBE Studios, which she runs with her husband, Scott Bryce, who we had the pleasure to work with through NPT. Yeah. So, Jody, you're a teacher. How has your experience in theater helped your teaching? It's taught me to watch more. It's taught me how we have to be patient with our students. I can empathize with every single challenge young artists are going through because I I've been there and I have worked through many of those struggles as as a performer myself. I wanted to be a teacher because I was missing things in my education. There were things that I definitely were missing and I yearned for and begged for and never got because this industry has changed so dramatically over the past 20 years. Uh, the the study and the science behind voice and vocal technique has grown and expanded so much over the years because of the demands of musical theater and how the styles of musical theater have evolved. It, it kind of goes both ways. Like uh, uh, the acting has informed my teaching and the teaching has really informed my acting. So we've heard that your family was also gifted in the arts. So do you think you would have pursued this career if you had experienced a different upbringing? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I mean, it's like my family, when my mother would perform, my mother, my mother was bigger than life, you know? So, um, I, it was always forced upon me in a way. So if they weren't in the business, I don't know, because acting, being authentic in whatever role we're playing in the world, and it's not a sense of being not real in whatever job you're doing. It's a sense of being a human being and tapping into human being emotions. You were talking about your difficulties earlier. Uh, are there any uh, specific difficulties that you encountered? As, as a teacher, um, I want to talk about my challenge of um, having vocal trouble as a professional and how that informed my career. So. Part of why I hurt myself as a vocalist when I was an adult was because I did not have the training when I was uh, growing up. Um, my family came from the school of, you know, either you got it or you don't. You don't need to study it. And that is just not accurate. And I didn't actually understand that until I learned by doing. And I hemorrhaged a vocal cord. And I was happened to be doing a Broadway show. I was auditioning for other projects coming up. I was doing a concert at the same time, and I was doing publicity work for the show. And it, and I had a personal life also. And all of that, just the tension, I didn't know how to take care of myself. So I went back to school. You build a muscle that continues to generate strength. You gotta continue to muscle and, and build those muscles because as performers, we are athletes. And like an athlete, you need to take self-care and you need to learn how to know when you need to stop and need to take a break. Because I I think sometimes we all get too focused on the outcome that we forget like the process and the self-care and maintaining everything. I think it's really important to study because this is not a business to go into if you want your 15 minutes of fame. It's got, it, it, it takes time. It takes living. It takes maintaining an instrument. It takes perseverance. It takes study. It takes a lifetime of study. You work with a lot of young 
young artists. Uh, are there any specific pitfalls that they tend to fall into that you have advice for? The first thing that comes to my mind is breath. I feel that anxiety in the world and at home and at school and on TV and on the media, I think it creates people to breathe shorter, shorter, shorter. The breath is rise, rise, rise. It's all right here. It's right here. So anxiety, I see a lot. I also, um, and I see the posture is, is, is inverted. And I want to bring everybody open and I want to just take their little shoulders and bring them on back. Uh, so that's, I do see a lot of that. I love to do this breathing technique with some of my students. I call it uh, four square breathing. And we're going to breathe in for four. We're going to pause for four. We're going to exhale for four. We're going to pause for four. Breathe in through your nose. Here we go. Two, three, four, and pause. Two, three, four, exhale through the nose. Two, three, four, and pause. Two, three, four. That cycle of breathing regulates the nervous system and settles our heart rate down and can get you present for whatever you want to have happen in your immediate uh, future. Speaking of letting go of stress and anxiety and everything that's going on in the world right now, are there any causes that you'd like to talk about? As Broadway Cares Equity Fights Aids, I'm always participating in and always a passionate member of. Um, in my company, we donate to um, the Actors Fund. I can't say that I'm one person that has like delved into one particular charity that I go gung-ho for. There's so much to be a part of out there, and there's so much I want to be a part of out there. So, I, 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 I spread my, spread it out as much as I can. Make sure to tune in to New Paradigm Theater's Giving Day event on February 25th, which you can watch from your house, and donations are always welcome. Footloose summer production by New Paradigm Theater is now open for registration. Yeah, and you can visit New Paradigm Theater's website for more details on both of these events. It was really nice talking to you, Jody, and I yeah, think thank you so all much. of our viewers can agree that you had a lot of good points to talk about. I hope so. Thank you. It was really, it was an honor to be here. Thank you for inviting me. It was an honor thank for you. you to be here for us, too. <laughs> and remember, everyone out there, you can be a leading lady, too, on or off stage. Bye.